Hi everyone, my name is Erin and welcome to my new YouTube channel. The name of it is The Erin Chronicle. Here we will be discussing lifestyle, and fashion, and a few more fun things along the way. One of the things that I'm looking forward to doing is doing reaction videos to fashion shows and discussing some of the new trends out there. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and turn on that notification bell so that you can keep up with us every single time that we post new content, which will probably be about two times a week. So we are looking forward to spending this time with you. So today we are doing, going to be discussing three trends to beat the heat. With only about six more weeks of summertime, which honestly I cannot believe, I am looking forward to incorporating these trends into my wardrobe. Now, I live in Colorado, which means I try to take advantage of every single warm day that we get before it, everything is covered in ice and snow, which will be here before we know it. So, let's get right into it. Our first trend we're going to talk about, I'm actually displaying right here is a nice button down. Now we saw this in the like of the Dior show, which I'll post, I believe, here, new to the whole YouTube thing. So we saw in the likes of Dior. Now I thoroughly enjoyed this particular show because I liked the fact they highlighted the green aspect. They really highlighted and got inspiration from Dior's sister, who was a passionate, gardener. So I loved this blue button down that they really incorporated into lots of outfits. I love to see layered with things underneath vests and even with long skirts and cute belts. Now how is this something that you could incorporate into your summer wardrobe? The runway is nice and all, but how does it go into real life? Well as you see here, I like to cuff my sleeves. I also find during the summertime that it is hot outside but cold inside. So it's nice to have something that's a cotton or linen blend that lets you breathe but still keeps you warm. For instance, when I go to the grocery store, I get very cold. It just, it happens. I get very cold. I end up rushing through the grocery store because I'm so cold and I just want to get out there. I get to the car, I get home, and I realize I forgot half the stuff on my list. Yes, I did because I was cold. So I've started incorporating longer sleeves into my wardrobe. Now, on the topic of the grocery store, that is pretty much the only place that I get dressed up for. I mean, granted, with everything that's kind of going on, that's where we are. But that's okay. It gives me a good excuse to get out of my pajamas and my workout clothes, which if you find me in my apartment, that's probably what I will be in. Now, this particular button down I picked up about 10 years ago in a thrift store. So you don't have to take fashion trends as you have to buy Dior or you have to buy Chanel in order to be in fashion. Fashion trends are just that. They're trends. They're advice. I like to take it as inspiration, and as I go around looking at different stores, picking things up. Now, some of those are really great to find in the secondhand store, which, as a lot of us are starting to track, is much better for the environment than going out and just buying things straight off the shelf. Now that we've discussed the button downs, we'll go into our second trend, and that is white. White everything, and as you see, I'm showing a bit of white here with my pearl accents. Now I find white to be a great option that makes an easy transition from day to night. Now I understand if you can't go on a date night, I would love to go on a date night, but as of right now with everything going on, it's just not a possibility, which is fine. Again, it's a great excuse to get out and have a day date at the grocery store. Yes, my husband and I enjoy a good day date at the grocery store. So white not only looks great in hair accessories, but it looks, I think it looks great in shirts, dresses, shoes, and skirts and pants. 
Now, you do not have to subscribe to the idea that you cannot wear white after Labor Day. That is totally up to you. If you would like to continue wearing white past Labor Day, you do you. If you don't want to wear white until springtime shows back up, that's absolutely fine. I find once fall and winter show comes around, I like to go to more muted, neutral colors. It's just how I reflect the seasons around me. Now we're going to discuss our third and final trend. And that is going to be sunnies or sunglasses that are actually useful. Now, as you see, recently we have gone to the more 90s themed smaller glasses. Now, these are very cute. If you can pull them off, I am very jealous of you. However, for me, they just don't work. I prefer to have sunglasses that give me a little bit more sun protection. So I will be very interested to see in the future, in the following seasons, if we go back to the smaller frames or if we go to the big aviators that have been in seasons, come from seasons past. So like I said, I enjoy a nice pair of useful sunnies. I picked these pair up at Target for less than $20. They have uh, nice lenses in them, they have nice weight to them. So for $20, I'd say it was a good purchase. So those are our three trends. Now I'd like to share some interesting fashion news that has come out recently. I will be discussing Yves Saint Laurent and Gucci's decision to not become part of Fashion Week anymore. They have discussed the fact that it has, it causes fashion to produce too many things, which is a degradation to the environment. So, for example, Gucci has said that they are going to go to their, uh, to a seasonless year. Now, what does that mean? We're not quite sure. So I will be interested to see in the future what this means for big names that usually are at Fashion Week. I also wonder how Fashion Week will change in the future. Now, I have to admit the idea of coming up with five or six collections a year at a minimum of 20 outfits just seemed like it would be highly draining as a creative individual. So I'm actually happy to see that they're starting to go to something that they are setting that reflects them and their philosophy and they're not just pumping out for commercial reasons. Yves Saint Laurent as well has decided that they will be stepping back from their fashion week and be setting their own fashion calendar. Now what's interesting is these two are big pillars in their fashion week at Milan and in Paris. So it will be, it's their big names. I've seen a lot of the smaller designers stepping away from the idea of doing multiple collections, as many collections per year. So I think as the bigger names get behind it, we're going to see it become more of a trend. Now, with everything that's happening in the world, I've also noticed a lot of designers are going to non-traditional ways to show their collection. We have some that are just showing just the sketches at Haute Couture Week. We have Dior with the small doll size and they did a creative video around showing the collection. Some only did one piece which I feel that they did very well. It's better to do a few and have excellent taste and excellent craftsmanship reflected than doing many partially or moderately well. We saw the likes of Balmain doing their history his, down the Seine in Paris, which I thought was an interesting way to bring haute couture to the masses so that the average person walking down the road, if you happen to be walking down the road at the time, was able to see the collection. So that's a little bit of Fashion Week news that I saw in the news. In the future, my first fashion review will be of the Dior Haute Couture video that I was talking about. So be on the lookout for that video to come to you. 
Like I said, be sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you can know when that video comes along and you can be the first one to see it. So thank you again for taking the time to come by and say hello. Be sure to comment below what you thought and what are some of the trends that you are enjoying. Now, all of the things that I have talked about with uh, pictures and descriptions will be down in the description box below through a link to my blog, which is also called The Erin Chronicle. So please take the moment to follow us on social media and come by and say hello. Thank you so much again for stopping by. I hope you all have a great day and a great rest of your week. Thanks.